and uh, I can also tell you that uh, I've got this review, I bought the deluxe edition of this and uh, what's inside this package I doubt whether it's going to measure up to its price point but nevertheless I ordered it and uh, uh, as with uh, a lot of these sort of like box sets these days uh, they try and do things on the cheap rather than give you any real value in them but let's take a look inside what's inside this package here see exactly what we have let me just peel this uh, I've got no Swiss knife so uh, I'm just going to uh, <laughs> Just uh, yeah, peel my way into the uh, packaging here and uh, rip it open, and there we go. Let's have a look now what we've got. Okay, then, so here we have. Oh, I've got cellophane as well to get through here. But this is uh, David Gilmore's live at Pompeii, and. Uh, as many of you may know, he, he actually went back to Pompeii to uh, record this time uh, with an actual audience. And uh, I do believe this has been put on the uh, the cinema raises as well and is uh, being shown on the cinemas. But now it's been released today on the 29th of September and uh, it's arrived from Amazon not so long ago. And uh, it's now about... Uh, I'm not sure actually, but it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, gone nuts. But uh, anyway, let's have a look uh, at the uh, contents, what we've got inside here. Uh, and uh, oh, this is so unprofessional, I'm going to uh, just, uh, excuse me a minute. So I've just uh, made a, an insertion here so I can uh, rip open the, uh, the polythene here and uh, so I'll get the contents of what's inside the box. Uh, first of all, the feel of the box, it's, uh, it's got like a brushed kind of effect, like a brushed uh, suede or something like that, but it's, it's not made of that, but it's, I mean it's made of cardboard obviously, but it's does feel that with its like kind of a uh, matte finish what's been printed on top of the surface here so now then let's uh, just uh, lift off the uh, box itself the lid and uh, the first thing we've got here as we can see is uh, it's something black but <laughs> This is probably what I expected it to be, and uh, yeah, no doubt, uh, as I said with these kind of packages, you think you're getting something of value, and uh, something really good, and instead what you've got is the book that's promised, but look at it, I mean, come on, is that a book? Well, obviously full of pictures. I don't know what information it's going to give you now, but uh, I dare say uh, you're going to get a lot of that on the contents of what's on the disc anyway inside the box. So uh, not so much bothered about it uh, being a uh, a sort of booklet that's going to give you a lot of information about the uh, tour. So, but in saying that, I mean. At its price point of like uh, forty-five pound here, I mean, <laughs> that's a bit, uh, you know, it's not like a great big like uh, a twelve-inch box set like what I've had before, a sleeve jacket sort of thing, which has got a great book inside it, and uh, actually got the discs inside as well. So like that, I mean, the only thing you got to do is actually keep it in the box. You know, you ain't gonna put it anywhere else. I mean, so there. So let's have a look at what else we got here. Here we have. Hmm, I'm not sure what it is. 
a uh, it's the amphitheatre at Pompeii an interview with Mary Beard hmm, interesting uh, so uh, here we have uh, something here obviously discussing about the uh, the concert and whatever oh, about uh, the amphitheatre theatre at Pompeii and what it's all about and stuff like that so uh, might be might be a useful read that I mean I certainly know nothing about it so uh, I've never been there anyway so like uh, I wouldn't know a lot about it anyway uh, let's have a look uh, what else we've got oh, oh dear here we go again uh, just like we got with his last box set of his the release of his last album some uh, <laughs> postcards and uh, yes well I'm not sure what to do with those, but uh, <laughs> obviously just stick them in the box. <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? This is a uh, poster and a uh, poster. Huh. Well, if you can call it a poster, it's uh, not a very big poster. But there again, I suppose it's just a uh, an idea of what a big poster is like <laughs> sort of thing but uh, is it any good and you're going to stick it on your wall well it's not at my age now uh, probably years ago may have done but uh, let's have a look now at what we get inside the actual thing uh, let's just make sure there's nothing else in the end now as you can see the box is empty and uh, here we have Four discs and uh, can't even see the label there. Oh yeah. Anyway, what we have here is the first two are CDs, and the uh, second two are actually Blu-rays. And uh, it tells you just what's on them on the back or whatever. And uh, basically, the the reason why I did buy this box set is because you do get the two Blu-rays and uh, knowing what David Gilmour does with his, uh, the one of the concerts I've got of him, uh, I can't remember which one it is now, but uh, it's a double uh, DVD that I bought of his many years ago, which was released on Blu-ray as well, but... Uh, that did have a lot of hours of content of uh, useful information and another content on there and I believe this does as well. This also contains the full documentary which you're not going to get with the uh, single Blu-ray release and so that was another incentive for buying this and obviously it's all in 5.1 it's a big incentive for buying a Blu-ray but here we've got uh, two Blu-rays uh, just what's on them, I don't know because I haven't really looked into it and uh, I haven't got my glasses on so I'm not going to be able to read that I'm afraid so uh, but anyway I mean uh, what can I say I mean the discs nothing like uh, a Jeff Rowe Tool release that comes in an art bound book with the disc beautifully stored in the book itself pages you know a proper book you know and not uh, that flimsy your finger at all I showed you in the first place yeah the CDs for me and that you may think this is uh, entirely acceptable to store the disc personally I don't I mean because like um I treat my CDs and all discs like I do vinyl albums I'm afraid and like uh, for me if you're gonna put something in a cardboard sleeve like this you really need to put perhaps a paper sleeve inside with some uh, polyurethane in it to protect the surface of the disc because if you're pulling this out of cardboard the chances are you're going to get scratch marks on it or it's even going to be harder to get out to retrieve the disc without getting your finger marks all over the disc so this to me is what I call really cheap packaging and it's not uh, the sort of thing that should be associated with an expensive box set like this and uh, I'm afraid and uh, it, it's done on the cheap and I knew this was going to happen because uh, 
basically I bought his last box set of his album and uh, basically you got exactly the same thing this all the discs uh, inside the box and everything packed in a box like this which is well it, it's just not uh, it's hardly anything you can put on display is it because like uh, the only way you go on display it is with everything in the box so it, it, I'm sorry to say it's uh, as packages go it's terrible uh, not the best package and uh, that's my personal view of it others may seem to be different but like uh, sorry to say I mean if you're gonna spend 45 pound on something at least package the thing right and not as it is in a thing like this because uh, trust me that is done in cheap entirely on the cheap and not as expensive as it would cost you to do what Jeff Lowe told did with his releases in which you get five discs in them or four or five discs in them for the price some of them only cost me 14 pound some cost me 20 pound so and this is like more than twice the price of them so you know that that's uh, to me that is uh, very much on the expensive side but uh, I shall let you know in my review when I've uh, checked out all the uh, the contents on the discs and uh, which would be some time because there's a lot in here to get through but uh, I mean obviously it's David Gilmore so you know, to me I, I do like David Gilmore and I do like Pink Floyd so it's something I had to have and it's something I wanted this particular version of for the extra Blu-ray disc the CDs don't bother me, it's the Blu-rays, which uh, really my concern. I mean, if you could get just a double Blu-ray disc for, say, 25 quid, 30 quid, I would have bought that rather than this. So, like, uh, anyway, that's uh, my unboxing presentation of David Gilmore's Live at Pompeii.